Hey gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. The brand new APS3 version 1.33 update has finally arrived. Even though the developer releases updates slowly, APS3 still holds its spot as the best PS3 emulator available for Android, delivering the smoothest and most stable experience you can get right now. This update mainly improves overall stability. It fixes the annoying key misalignment bug, adds a new option to view detailed trophy information, and introduces better controls to create or delete your PPU cache and clear the SPU cache. In this video, I'll show you the complete setup, the best settings, and real performance tests so you can see exactly how the new update performs. Before we start the setup, you'll need a few things ready. The latest APS3e emulator, the official PS3 firmware file, a GPU driver if you're using a Snapdragon device, and your PS3 games. Once you've got these files ready, we can move on the emulator setup. Now let's set up the emulator step by step. Open the apps3e emulator and tap on next step. The first thing it'll ask is to install the firmware, so click on install firmware and choose your firmware file from your phone's store. Storage. In the next step, it'll ask you to set the PS3 ISO directory, but for now, you can skip this part. Then, it'll ask for a font file. Just select from firmware, and it'll automatically extract the fonts. After that, it'll ask for a GPU driver. If you have a Snapdragon processor, select your driver file from storage. If your phone uses a different chipset, simply uncheck the Use Custom Driver option. Once that's done, your quick setup is complete, and you'll land on the emulator's home screen. Now that we're on the home page, let's add some PS3 games. Tap the menu icon and choose Add Game game file. Here you can add your PS3 games in PKG, RAP, or EDAT format. After adding them, if the games don't appear immediately, just click the refresh button and they'll start showing up on your main screen. If you have games in ISO format, go back and click on set ISO directory, then select the folder where your game files are located. Once that's done, all your games will appear on the home page, ready to play. Next, let's talk about the best settings for smooth performance. Go into settings and open the video settings section. For the renderer, make sure to select Vulkan and set the resolution to 720 x 480. Under Shader Precision, select Low. There's also an option called Right Color Buffers. Turn this on only when you're playing God of War 3. Otherwise, keep it off to save performance. Scroll down a bit and turn on Stretch to Display Area while turning off Strict Rendering Mode. For resolution scale, keep it around 75%, but you can adjust this depending on your device's performance. In the Vulkan section, make sure to select your default Adreno GPU, for example, Adreno 740, under the Adapter option. Set your VRAM to around around 60 GB, then turn on Force Max Clocks. Lastly, if you want to monitor FPS or performance, open the Performance Overlay option and enable it. Once you've applied these settings, head back to the home screen. Now let's test how the emulator actually performs. I started with God of War 3, the demo version. The first time you launch the game, it will take a long time to compile PPU modules, which is normal. The performance here feels very similar to version 1.32, with around 20 FPS in free moving areas and noticeable drops during heavy fights. The gameplay feels stable overall and no major visual glitches appear, so the experience is mostly smooth. I always test God of War 3 because it is one of the most requested PS3 games and it gives us a clear idea of how demanding titles perform. Next, I tried the full version of God of War 3 and this is where things change. In version 1.32, the game was running at around 10 to 15 FPS, but with the new 1.33 update, the full version now runs slower, dropping to around 3 to 4 FPS in many areas. Heavy combat scenes make the frame rate sink even lower. The positive side is that there are no graphical glitches, but the game is simply too slow to enjoy, even on a high-end device. For mid-range or lower-end phones, this game is not playable at all in its current state. Moving on, I tested Batman Arkham Asylum and the performance was better. The story mode runs at 15 to 20 FPS, with heavy scenes dropping to around 10 FPS. The fighting feels fairly smooth and there are no visual issues, although the audio is very glitched. If you have a Snapdragon 8 series processor, you can play this game without too many problems, but it won't be perfectly smooth. I also tested my Mafia 2. And while the game does load and run, the performance is extremely slow, usually sitting between 2 and 5 FPS. Because of this, movement and shooting feel very delayed, almost like the game is reacting a second late. The graphics themselves look sharp and clean with no major glitches, but the low frame rate makes the overall gameplay experience difficult and not really practical. For GTA 5, I checked gameplay tests from YouTube running on the same update, and the results are very similar. The game launches and you can move around, but the performance stays around 2 to 5 FPS making character control very hard. Textures often turn black, parts of the environment glitch, and animations feel very slow. Screen recording drops the FPS even lower, and turning it off gives only a small 2-3 to three FPS improvement. Even with that boost, the game is far from playable in its current state. Overall, the new APS3E 1.33 update adds useful features like trophy information and cache management, and it fixes the misaligned key issue. But when it comes to raw performance, there isn't much improvement compared to version 1.32. In some games, 
games like God of War 3 full version, performance is actually worse. Still, development for this emulator is moving slowly, and any improvement is valuable. Hopefully, future updates bring better optimization and more playable PS3 titles. If you found this guide helpful, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay creative, gamers.